Hello, this is Head Chef 157 and today I'm going to be showing you how to record your computer, or any computer rather, with your iPod, Touch, iPhone, or iPad. Um, it, will, it can work on Linux, Macs, or Windows computers. Pretty much anything out there it can control. Now, what you're going to do is download a program called TeamViewer. Now, if you already have TeamViewer, which most people do, just go ahead and click the annotation at the top right saying I already have TeamViewer. If you haven't clicked it by now, then you obviously do not. This link to this website will be in the description. Now you're going to click where it says start full version, it's free. All right, when you're installing it, you'll end up with a message that says, would you like to set up remote access at this time? No will already be automatically selected. Leave it as no, just for now. And once it is, is installed, you're going to open TeamViewer. Now that TeamViewer is open, you're going to go into where it says connection. You're going to do set up unattended access. Now, whatever you want your computer to be named, put it in computer name. And then you're going to set a password for each. You're going to put a password in, you're going to have to confirm it. <clears throat> Once you do that, you'll be asked to make an account. Either before or after that, you'll need an account. Just simply make an account with TeamViewer. You're just going to need a password and a username. Very simple and this will come to your right. You will see my PC or whatever the heck you named your computer and it will be in parentheses saying this computer. This other computer will not appear on yours that is just a friend of mine who I usually give technical support to. So once you see it that says this computer you can go ahead and ditch the computer. You don't need to use it anymore and switch over to your iPod or iPod Touch. Alright once you're on the iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad or whatever device you are using, it does not have to be jailbroken. My device is jailbroken, but it does not need to be. Simply ignore the jailbroken features. You're going to want to go into the App Store. Once you've gone to the App Store, you're going to want to search Team Viewer, as you can see at the top. You're going to want to search it, and you will have two options. There will be a free version called just regular Team Viewer and a paid for version that is $100 called TeamViewer Pro. TeamViewer Pro is completely unnecessary. I don't recommend you get it unless you're owning a business and you want to connect to like 20 computers at once. But if you're like me and just want to control your computer with your iPod, just simply go to TeamViewer. Now, you can see here that it says it is remote access to Windows, Mac, and Linux systems. It has all the features here, but we'll go through the ones you're going to need or use right from right here. Now, you can, you're going to click download, but you see I've already have it installed. So we're going to close out of the App Store. Once it is installed, you're going to open up the application. Mine is under the Remotes folder. Alright, once TeamViewer is loading, alright, you're going to put in your account information and then click Sign In. Mine was automatic, so it already signed in for me. Once you have signed in using the account that you made on your computer, you're going to go under My Partners, and there you should be able to see your computer, or whichever one you've selected. Again, there's going to be another one. The, the top one is not my computer, it's someone else's that I often gives technical support to. But my PC down here, you remember seeing it on my computer? I can control it from here. And to control the computer, you're going to want to click Connect to Partner. Keep in mind, you cannot use 3G to connect to a computer. You must use Wi-Fi. So, for the portion where I show how you can control the computer, I'm going to use a camera on my actual iDevice and I'm going to be screen capturing my computer. So I'm going to get into that mode here. So you can see my computer screen on one side and my iDevice on the other. Um, you can see where it says My Partners up here, I'm going to tap that. And then select the computer I want to connect to. This is the screen you saw back when I was recording with the computer. So we're going to select Connect to Partner here. You can see my computer has gone black. And you have some instructions here, some basic instructions on how to control. But I'll show you how to in this video. I'm going to go to Portrait for this mode. Alright. So you can see that there is my computer. I'm going to zoom out here. You can essentially see my PC. Now you will notice that on the computer and on my iPod, the background is black. The background has been removed. 
turn off this feature. It does this to save on a speed and everything. I'm going to go to remove wallpaper and you can see that it is on. I'm going to turn this off. Alright, so you can see the wallpaper on both the computer and on here now. So, it's pretty cool. Just the way you move the mouse is you just simply drag across and you can move the mouse to click tap. Down here for right click, there is a mouse button. You just tap that to right click, as you saw. Now as for keyboard functions, you will have the regular Apple keyboard with all the letters and everything. You will see up here there will be escape, tab, control, alt, and the windows button. And if you press this plus button up here, keyboard plus, arrow keys and a whole bunch of others like all the F buttons and everything will appear. So it's a full working computer this way. Now, this why would you want to control your computer versus just using your iPod? You could access files that are on your computer that you regularly couldn't, and you could do things on here that you regularly couldn't either. For instance, flash player type stuff and everything. So I'm going to move up here to Google Chrome, which I already have open. Open it. You can see the speed isn't exactly great, but it's good enough. The quality on your iPod, of course, is not going to be exact meter quality because that will, of course, slow down the process. Um, there have been times where I have actually edited videos on a trip from this very device. I've edited videos on my computer from this device. It's pretty helpful. You don't realize how good it is. In fact, I could actually go into Minecraft if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So yeah, that is how you control your computer with an iDevice. This is my personal way I use it, in my opinion, the best way, because you could actually see what you're controlling. You know, you could see the computer screen, so you could be in a hotel on the other side of the country or in a different country, be able to use your computer. Um, and it's free, you know, and easy to set up. All the other things I've tried, even the jailbroken ones, seem to be craptastic or you have to pay for them. So guys, this has been a HeadChef 157 video. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.